Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another reaction video with my partner in crime, of course. As always, everybody, it's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon, BK the People's Champ. The movie, that, I mean, the video that we're going to be watching today is by Comedy Shorts Gamer, as usual, one of my favorite people to react to. It is I Could Have Died. And, um... He could have died. And then we wouldn't have anything else to watch. That would have sucked. But we're glad that he's all right more than anything, man. The hell with you two. We're glad that you're all right, Deji, because you're a hell of a guy. But anyway, link to the original video is down in the description. Please go by and support him by going there and clicking on it and showing some love, man. And if you don't want to watch it here along with us in the screen that we provided for you, which is 20% bigger, by the way, you can watch it on his page in Spectacular H. Monkey face indeed, y'all. Which you should do anyway because every view that he gets supports him. I mean, that's just how it works on YouTube. So go by, check it out, give him a like, show him some love, man. Um, and also... Uh, what were we gonna say? Links to all our social media and our gaming channel, all that's down in the description as well. So go check that out. And uh, you know, without further ado, headphones ready. Let's get it. Hey guys. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. He doesn't seem so excited. Yeah. yeah. Looks pretty drained. Ooh. Really? My mama had a car accident, and the same thing happened to her. Mm -hmm. That shoulder, mm -hmm. like, um, because that's where the seatbelt goes across, right? Mm -hmm. So when you hit it, it, it can literally pull everything, you mm -hmm. know. Her shoulder still hurts to this day, if Ooh. you ask her. Maybe his arm went through the window, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> and this is the first thing that happened after two years. Wow. <laughs> Last time I saw him, I pranked him. Now we get into a car accident. But yeah, it's, it, it's, um, what the doctor said is that we're lucky to be alive. Like, the car was completely smashed. Oh, goodness. Wow. I'll see pictures of the car later. It was completely smashed. They said if, if it was a lesser car, that. Uh, we would have died. Like, uh, wow. It was the Audi. It was Janet. I've lost, I've lost my Audi. Wow. Right off. It's dead. So we came off the bend. I completely just lost control of the car. We were like swerving. I was trying to re regain control. I couldn't. We went Ro straight okay. for a ditch and literally spun, went in midair and slammed. Oh my God. We, went, we were upside down. Literally, we were so close to be alive and just have like minor. When my dad was about, I don't know how old Deji is, but I know when my dad was, I think I was four years old, so that would have made my dad 24, 28. Mm -hmm. So he's, he was older than that. I don't, I don't think it is like 25, 26. My dad was 28, and I was four years old, and he was coming home um, from work, and they called us, and they, also, they were telling us something about the same thing, that he had a car accident. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we didn't really know what was going on. We was just trying to go see our dad, but we couldn't go. And my mom was like, um, you know, they explained what happened. And it was it was on his birthday, too. And he just came down the road, and a woman jumped out in front of him, and he tried to stop and swerve. And the car did, like, it, like, went to the side, and then it flipped two or three times. Mm -hmm. And they didn't think he was going to get out of it, but he made it. And uh, he wasn't even hurt. His back was, was hurt. But, um, you know, other than that, he was fine. But, uh you know, we was kids, so we didn't really know. We just knew our dad was going right. to be at home with us for a yeah, few right. weeks. So we were happy about that, but we didn't realize the severity of the situation. So, you know, it's just... Yeah, yeah, right. Here are some pictures. Yikes. Uh, yeah, it's gross. Hell, it's you got to hold somebody's hand when they... It was like... It was like a movie. It was... Everything was in slow motion. We were in mid-air for like an hour, it felt. Mm-hmm. Dang. Fell on Steven. Take, take it from me, guys. Take it from me. You think you're a really good driver, 
don't take it for granted. You're right. Be, I mean, I, me, I'm more of a really good driver. The I'm hydroplaning really ain't no bullshit. Really good driver. Mm. I just completely lost control. Don't take anything for granted. Bear in mind that it's just a machine, and machines fail. Look at yeah. Us. We're, we're just lucky. <coughs> <laughs> that's just crazy. Yeah, like he came out. Uh, like I had blood dripping down my arm completely. He was bleeding from his head. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, you see the blood still bleeding there. Nine stitches. Hurt like a motherfucker. They had to inject the pain. The, uh, Yo, we know that. And like go in and around the injection. And yeah, gotta clean it out. Times. Yeah. I, like, I, I hate needles. Yeah, me too. So that's why he was like that. <clears throat> That couldn't have been you, because I definitely would have had to hold your hand the entire oh, yeah. time. Oh, yeah. And and But you see how he was? Like, they had to put his hand behind his back, and he couldn't, you yeah. know, he couldn't. I, I hate this for anybody, man. But still, I feel really bad considering how, what, what if we weren't lucky? What if we weren't lucky? And, like, we both died. That would have, well, I mean, I haven't seen him in two years. And, and my children. Oh, God, I don't want to think about that. But, like. Well, we already know that. But he should be. That's your brother. He loves you. I wanted to say sorry to his parents. Like, I'd never want to put your son in danger. And I know the hardest thing ever is to bury your son. And I, I would never want that. So, which I apologize. Same with my parents. Like, I'm sorry, mum and dad. I'm sorry if I've put you through, like, any trouble. Completely, like, my shoulder's completely gone. It's... Just yeah, I know, I know that feeling. I tried to lift it, it's in so much pain. Shout out to the NHS, thank you guys. I, I know that feeling. Hunting, Huntington Police, thank you guys, thank you so much. Guys, seriously, thank you so much. Like, guys, like, this is the wow. I was wearing. Completely smacked. This is all blood. Mm. What I've read you seeing is blood. Well, of course they have to cut it off when you go to the doctor. Yeah. Like, the whole top was just gone. The police <clears> were, like, surprised how we escaped. Yeah, that you got out. He's probably one of those things you hit the ground and you'd be like, are you all right? Yeah. Or probably be like, are you alive first? Yeah, because you're not then, feeling anything there. And then, it, then the thing is, it's hard for me to watch because I got, we got LJ. And you just think that one day he's going to be out there driving. And he's going to go with his friend or whatever. And you know, like, you never stop. Like, his mom, they, they're in their 20s. You never stop worrying about your children. Absolutely. Like, if you've got children, you know exactly what we mean. You never stop worrying about your children. And it's something that doesn't resonate with you as like how you're 30 and your parents are still worrying about you. Hey, how you doing? You got something to eat? Uh, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Like, of course yeah. I got something to eat, mom. I'm 30. But you just never stop worrying about your children. You you won't understand it until you have children of your own. How you how you can see, I will never stop worrying about this little boy. Ever. And you'll worry about them more when they're not there with you, when you can't protect them. So, like, you know, I don't, we've always said everyone our religion believe, you know, I don't know what you believe in, but, right. you know, thank God. Yeah, that, for us, thank goodness. Thank thank God that everything was okay. Right. And that, you know, um, it could have been worse than that, and that, you know, they they survived it. Right. This brings me back to a time. Um, Definitely brings me back to when I was. Um, babe. Babe. But this is my story. This brings me back How to my. How is this your story? No, I was going to say when I was in college. But and, I was getting ready to tell my story when I was in college. Oh, uh, well, 18 wheeler switched lanes on top of me because it was, it put his signal on and I was like, I, 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 it sees me. I could see its mirror. He could see me. This this truck is not coming. No, it just switched lanes right on top of me. And I was like, fuck. And then when I finally got out, you know, they thought that nobody was going to get out of the car, but I got out and I was, I was okay. And like, I, I didn't realize how much that 
shocked and put my parents in shock and all that because they were worried about it. I'm like, I'm fine, but, you know, they were like, but it could have been worse. But anyway, go ahead. Anyway, so this brings me, not to anyway your story, but that was horrible. No, it was horrible. That yeah. was horrible. But, um, you know, they were talking about how the road conditions were wet. Right. And this brings me back to the time. I've only been in one accident. Accident, Thank right. God. And we so, had just gotten together. We've been together for about a year at that point Yeah, in time. we had been together for about a year. I had just got my license the week before. Yeah. We had just got, uh, we had an Eddie Bauer. We bought an Eddie Bauer um, Explorer. We had gotten the Eddie Bauer Explorer. A week before and had just put the insurance on it. Just put it on. Like yeah. a couple days before that. Right. I think. So anyway, it was raining really bad. I was trying to get somewhere. Jay had told me not to worry about it, but me being the type of uh, person that has to be in control to get things done or I'm going to freak out, I was like, I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm pulling out the parking lot. Uh, I make the left turn. Um, when I made the turn, and You know those, I, and this is, this is late um, this is early nine. This is late nineteen nineties, early two thousand. It's early two thousand. It was early two thousand. So it was yeah. a ninety six Explorer. So it's only like five years old, right? But the ninety six Explorers, you know, those those are not the ones that are round. They're the ones that are the extra box. box. Yeah, box. The extra box. So yeah. so they have like literally no body roll at all. Yeah. So I pull out when I per when I pulled out, uh, the truck just. It slid all the way across. It hit the look cement median, mm -hmm. and I went into the air. And when he said it feels like you was in the air for an hour, that is so true. Right. So I went into the air and flew into a building, mm -hmm. a big building, and, a and, big and outside that building. building, outside that building, there is a sign, a big sign with two H beams, like on each side, like like this. And she went through like. The way that we worked it out, there is no way that she did not go through. Like, she, like, split the upright. She went directly through the sign, didn't hit any of the beams, and then hit the building. And, uh, yeah, I, no, went right, I went straight through the glass and landed on a sofa. With the truck with the truck up in the air. Nobody got hurt because they, yeah. saw, they saw a company. Yeah, there was only like one person in there. And they took off behind the little podium, and they just immediately called 911 because they knew it wasn't going to be good. And y'all, when I say it again, thank God because the only thing I came out with was a little nick on my finger. Yeah, it was crazy. That was it. And then like, they called me at work and she was like, don't be mad. I'm like, what the hell would I be mad? I'm just glad you're alive. But uh, it's just like, that's how it is, man. It's like, well, actually, she didn't call me. My best friend called yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I, I told him to call yeah, you. Yeah, Bishop went and got her. And then he was like, look, man, Jay, don't, don't be mad. But, uh, you know, and he, 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 he kind of talked me down before it even got there. But I was just like, that that kind of like almost yanked my soul out when they when they told when she told me that like what had happened. Fortunately, I wasn't there to see it because I was at work and I couldn't get off. So I never saw the accident scene. I never saw the truck. I never saw any of it. Afterwards, she went and got off. She got off. There wasn't anything in the truck because we had just got it, so it was yeah. nothing to clean out. So they towed up the truck. We got another one, a safer truck, and we had that truck for what ten years after that. Oh yeah, we had. Yeah, that we truck. just got rid of that we truck in two thousand thirteen. Two years ago, yeah. Yeah, so so we had that. It was a much safer truck. We drove it forever, and it was good. But you know, it's just you got to be very careful, man, yeah. because uh, and, and our prayers with Deji and all that, man, because we, you know, yeah. that that sucks for anybody. And uh, if you've ever had, if you if you've ever been in an accident, let us know, man, because. And, you know, how it felt for you. Because I know everybody can relate, man. Because oh, yeah. a lot of people have had that. Because when that truck was coming over, I honestly, when it hit my car, I blacked out, right? So when it came over, the next thing I remember was breaking away from the truck. And then I hit a, I went down in the ditch and came up out of the ditch. And then he pulled up and he was like, yo, I'm so sorry, whatever, whatever. But it was just crazy. But, like... I, I don't even remember it, and then I had nightmares about it for a while, and and then after that it just it just went away. But uh, it's just it's like you said, it just goes to show you have to drive for everybody. Yeah. But uh, we already talked too long, man. Uh, we gonna get up out of here, let you guys get back to it. But we'll holler at y'all later, man. Prayers with Deji, man. It's one of our yeah, favorite YouTubers, Deji. and uh, it that sucks for anybody, you know, to to have their have their life in danger, much less, you know. And then the, the least of all is losing your car because obviously you're going to get that back. Yeah, but, I'm just but just that inco but, th but even that inconvenience sucks. You know what I mean? Because cause like as human beings, we get over things very easily initially. So you're like, so like, it's like any, any time, and you, you guys understand, it's like, boom, I had the accident. I'm alive. I'm okay. Okay. 
dude, where's my car? You know what I'm saying? Like that's just human nature. Like you, you, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like we, mm-hmm. the, the first thing we think, you okay? Okay, we got to get another truck. Yeah. You know, like that's it sucks, but like that's just how that's the position that they put you in in life. Now, obviously, he don't have to go to work. But I'm saying like we had to go to work the next day or whatever. Yeah, I don't think you went the next day, but no, no you went the next day. You didn't go that night. No, I, yeah, I went to, no, we, we, we no, were in I college. Was because I ended up feeling the whiplash the next day, and I couldn't right. move. My, everything was so stiff, so right. I think I was out we were in for like college. two days. Yeah. Right, right. So you went to work that night, but you didn't go. I didn't go that night. Oh, you didn't go that night. Okay. No. But that's what we were saying, because we had to go get another car the next day. Fortunately, we had we had a guy at the dealership named Bobby. He just got us in another car, and we were good. But it's just like, yeah, we already talked too long, man. Like, let us know about, you know, uh, what you what you guys have gone through in the comments, and we're going to holler at y'all until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, and... Your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from Salon, BKA the People's Champ, at. You guys stay safe. Have a great Labor Day. Keep the drinking to a minimum. Or get a designated driver. And or, wear your seat belts. Or Uber everywhere. Uber. Uber everywhere. All right, Uber. we go. Uber Thanks. everywhere. Yeah, you said it.